Robotnik was, was a really exciting challenge because that it was, uh, in the game, he's obviously very maniacal, very mustache twirling, very just out to sort of conquer the world, conquer the universe, which is uh, not the most grounded sort of concept. So we really, while we wanted to honor the spirit of that, we also really wanted to sort of create a world or a version of him that, that could exist in, in sort of in our world and, and ground him in at least some kind of, of reality because we certainly want to have fun um, and, and make him a little uh, uh, designing his character and, and having some fun with it, but, but also just find a way to make it um, more modern. Um, and it wasn't necessarily completely worked out on paper. I mean, that, that was one of those things where once Jim Carrey came on, it was just such uh, such a fantastic experience. Kind of having conversations with him about how what he should sound like, what he should move, how he should move, what he should look like. I mean, Jim was so involved in every aspect of the character, and it just really took it to a whole nother level. I mean, I just am so thankful for his sort of like commitment and his energy and his enthusiasm, and he just really, I mean, we, we basically had designed the world around him prior to, to his involvement. I mean, we had a lot of fun designing his technology, his, his truck, his lab, all his drones, um, but the missing component was definitely, was just the robotic of it all, and, and, and he just brought it to life in, in such an incredible way, and I think fans are going to be so excited and thrilled to sort of see what it became, because I, I just don't think there's any way to even explain sort of uh, the direction he took it, uh, other than that it's just very, very clever, very smart, very funny, uh, completely original. I mean, I've never seen a character like this on, on screen before, so it's just, uh, I'm so grateful for, for his ideas and for his energy, and it was just such a fantastic experience shooting with him. I mean, I, I just, I had a daily sort of like, just moments of disbelief where I can't believe that we, we, Jim Carrey is here and, and, and is, is, in, is, is performing this character for our movie. So I just couldn't be more excited about all of it. The entire shoot was such a collaborative process and, and even in rehearsals, everyone just, there was a, a lightness and a, a sort of a relaxed sort of atmosphere that really made people free, free and comfortable to sort of pitch ideas or just to really uh, find ways to make things better. And I, it was one of those things that I, I was very uh, appreciative of as a director was to have the actors just really want to roll up their sleeves, talk about the characters, talk about the scenes. And so much great stuff came out of that process. And it, it was seeing uh, James and Jim and Tika and, and, and everyone sit down and, and, and have these kind of like discussions and these brainstorms and then come up with really great ideas. Uh, it was just fantastic and it really made the shooting just go just go uh, wonderfully. I mean, I, I, I feel like we've got, I just couldn't even pick a favorite. I mean, there's just so many scenes where just all the performances just were above and beyond anything that, 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 that it just, from the script to the screen, I mean, it just came, alive, came to life in such an incredible way and, and they really just, is because of that collaboration and that exchange of ideas and just the enthusiasm to just really bring these characters to life and, and, and bring this world to life. It's a character story. It's about uh, uh, telling a very emotional, very relatable um, story and it has just something for everyone. Like I really feel like there's a strong family component to it. Um, obviously there's no shortage of action, but I mean we really were thinking about everyone and, and, and sort of I think back to being uh, 13 when, when the game came out and, and now you know, I just turned 40 this year and I want all, every, everything in between. Like I really want, I want fans of the original who played that game in 1991 to now be introducing this character to, to their children or just to, to create this whole next generation of fans. And, and yeah, it's boys and girls, it's, it's teenagers, it's adults. It's, I mean, it really is meant, uh, is meant to be for everyone. And, and, um, I would just think we really uh, did something great in terms of the tone and the humor and the action and it's just it's a big movie with just a lot of laughs and a lot of heart and, and I just really think there's something for everyone. It was such a special opportunity and, and again I have such uh, such sort of great memories of the game and, and have continued to play it. I mean, that's, that's the thing about this character is that it's not just nostalgia. I mean, he kind of came onto the scene in 1991, but he never really went anywhere. I mean, there's been such a steady stream of great games and, and cartoons and, and the comic book, and there's just been so, mu so much 
of Sonic out in the world to sort of enjoy. Um, but I feel very lucky and very fortunate to, to have been the one to sort of bring him to the big screen. And uh, this is absolutely something to check off the bucket list because it was such an amazing experience. And, and yeah, I have nothing but just uh, appreciation for all the cast and the crew and, and couldn't be happier about, about the film we made and about sharing it with audiences.